Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest 3. We are starting episode 5, I think. So last time, we met up with Kondar at the Tower of Champagne. We gave him a thorough trouncing. We became the King of Romilly for about 5 minutes. And then we headed east to Ashalam and Isis. We learned that the magic key is in the pyramid from that guy in that shrine surrounded by swamp. And now the question is, how the devil did we get into the pyramid and get all the stuff that we need? And honestly, it sounds like these children's songs have something to do with getting into the pyramid. There's a secret to the pyramid in the songs that children sing, but I don't understand them. Round buttons open doors, but which to press? Left of the east, right of the west. Then the left of the west, and the right of the east. Let me actually just jot these down real quick, because this might be, um, important. <laughs> In fact, I'm sure it's important. Ah. Tell me again, tell me again, kid. Left of east. Right of west. Left of west, right of east. Round buttons. So there's our clue. Unfortunately, this game is not like one of those new games where there's like a bajillion freaking levels of confusion to the to the game. That is a magic key door. This is interesting. Let's check this out. Wait, it just kicks us out? Boo. Okay, let's explore the... Let's explore the castle. We'll talk to some people. And, uh... See what there is to see. Oh, that was easy. What have we got here? Are you the ones who woke me? Probably. Yes. You seem to be an honest person. You may have my treasure. Oh, okay. That was really easy. Actually, I didn't even realize that that was gonna be that easy. It's just a little tomb under the castle, I guess. There's probably someone around here who talks about it, or maybe in the town of Isis, but... The starry... Who, who got it? Starry ring. The starry ring doubles your agility. And so, therefore, who do we want to have the highest agility? Probably our healer. So I think I'm actually going to equip the Starry Ring on him. For the moment. And then... Who can equip the Silver Rosary? Anybody. Well then, I guess I'll give it to Betty, and she can equip it. It's a little backwards for the wizard to have the Rosary and the... Um, priest to have the Starry Ring, but that's just the way it is. Um... Gosh, in the in the NES version, this is called like the. It has a, a better name, like the the moon moon. Actually, can I look it up real quick? Give me a second here, just for funsies. We're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna look this up real quick because it has a really cool name. Meteorite armband. Yeah. So yeah, in the NES version. Of the, uh, of the game. It's called the Meteorite Armband, which I think is a better name than the Starry Ring. 
in any case, we have it. And it's an extremely valuable item. Um, I think there's only one of it in the game. And it doubles your agility, which is super useful. Because you gain the defense, too, from it. So basically, our uh, priest just got a bunch of defense, as well as a bunch of ability to get those heals off early in the turn. Right when we need them. Did you come here through the desert? You look a little sunburned. Oh, no, no, no. Check the bookshelf. The Defy Book. Okay. The pyramid is the royal grave. Many kings have been buried there with their treasures. But it has already been plundered by many thieves. Thanks, buddy. A cheesy ticket. Nothing interesting. A strange mask. To be continued. You'd certainly satisfy our queen? What? You should stay away from the pyramid. It is cursed and there are some places high where magic spells don't work. And that's an interesting element. It's a decorated shield. And then it scrolls past. Okay. Traps in the pyramid, so be careful. And here's the queen's room. So as far as I can tell, that's kind of all we need here. So, I'll just drop back out, and we'll head into town. See you in a second. Alright, this is the town of Isis. The Pharaoh's country. Have you met the queen yet? Yeah, she saved my game. So today's been a waste. Oh, it's another monster fighting ring. Guard in uniform. Research the way that monsters fight. That's actually intelligent. Yes? No. Just between you and me, the queen sneaks in here sometimes. That's funny. Odds for the next match, only five pieces of gold. Would you like to hear them? Uh, sure. Smart bet is on Magician A. That's the scoop. Hundred and ten gold pieces? Yeah, why not? Magician A, right here. We're gonna try it. Here they come. Why are they attacking? <clears throat> this is one of those things where everything is so freaking randomized. Blaze on the magician. Blaze again. Oh, he's not down though. Oh, magician A falls asleep. Oh, that might be it. We're done. The All Mirage wins. And we lose. Okay, well... Whatever. You're from Aliyaha. I've never heard of that place before. Where is it located? Is it an item shop? Turban, herbs, the usual stuff. Would you like some water? Water is our most valued possession. The desert dehydrates you and the monsters are tough, but the queen's beauty makes the trip worth it. Oh! Found a brave book. Okay, that's kind of cool. We can switch the hero from, like, silly to brave at some point. That might be worth doing. Especially since he's our frontliner. My husband runs a weapon and armor shop. Okay. Boxer shorts. A 
next 30 person can be seen. Kornick became conceited. Really? No, he's still silly. I feel like that translation's a little goofy. With the starting ring on, on so fast, la la la. My name is Sakras. I always sit here and wait for night. When it comes, I wait for the dawn. I don't know why I'm like this. Nobody should be making fun of Sakras. Human beings have a natural tendency to be indecisive. Have you met the queen yet? Okay, I already talked to you. To the north lies the pyramid. I want to go there, but it's a sacred temple built thousands of years ago. If I get too close or steal some of its treasure, it will be cursed. Tiny metal. Oh, and let's talk to the shopkeeper here. What would I like to buy? Holy spear, maybe. Iron axe is probably not worth it. Iron armor is definitely not worth it. The silk robe, though, is not a bad idea. Iron shield and iron helmet are both good ideas as well. Well, we can get one silk robe and one iron helmet? Yeah, let's do that. Silk robe. Tidy up. Equip. Iron helmet for main hero. Uh, that wooden helmet might be worth keeping an eye on. The turtle shell, I don't think anyone can use. Let's double check, though. Uh, item. Give. Oh! That's better than the leather hat. She can't wear it. Slight improvement in defense. I'll take that. Nobody else can equip that, so we'll put it in the bag. And, well, even if we sell that stuff, it's not going to be enough for us to buy anything else particularly interesting, so we'll just leave it in the thing for now. I'll, uh, I'll sell it off, off, uh, off camera so you guys don't have to watch me fumble with the interface. And that'll be after we come back from the, from the, uh, pyramid. So, that's Isis. Now, the pyramid, I said it's to the north... I thought it was to the north. I suppose I could be wrong about that. Well, let's look for the pyramid. Well, that was easy. Some hell crabs. Try throwing out a bang and see what happens. Okay, that was a pretty tough fight, actually. As you can see, the, um... What do you call it? Um... 
that bang spell, they were they were basically shrugging it off. Um, though Fireball did hit both of them. I don't know, it's a fairly low probability thing, but there it is. Oh, we fell down a pit. That's probably not good. Ooh, some mummies, but we surprised them. So in the NES version, the, uh, the pyramid is a very difficult... Oh, we're in a no magic zone, too. That means we gotta get out of here. number of hit points. 24 damage! That's half of her health. Yeah, we can't cast any spells, so we're gonna have to medical herb Betty there. Gotta find some stairs. There's the stairs. And it kind of it kind of just forces us out, but that's okay. Okay, we can heal here. So we move so fast, we need to be really careful about not falling down in those freaking pits. This is another thing that's actually very dangerous. The treasure in here is... I don't think we have it. No, we don't. Yeah, that's... So... Oh, we... Hold on. I'm, I'm thinking here. We only have 300 gold. Empty chest. Empty chest. Careful there. King Toads, okay. So what I was gonna mention is that I think that there's a couple of Tre treasure chests in this area that are actually mimics. Um, there's a spell that wizards get called X-Ray, I think, usually, that uh, allows you to determine whether a chest is a, a mimic or not. But at this stage of the game, we don't have that spell. Uh, so the issue is basically that a mimic can wipe the party. That's why I'm a little worried about um, about using, about about fighting one. But we'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, we wipe the party and have to uh, do a little bit of grinding to get everybody back into full health. No. Okay, this looks promising. Okay, left of east. So long. Right of West. Ooh, 
Left of west. Right of east. Mummy and Mummy Man are two different types of enemies for some reason. Spells still work here, so we can do some healing. Ouch. Okay, those ones weren't so bad. I just gotta keep her at full health, because otherwise she'll get knocked out in two freaking hits. Right of East. The sound of some large stone moving can be heard in the distance. Ooh, the trick bag. Here we go. Oh, we beat it. Okay, cool. I thought it had more hit points than that. I think it drops a lot of gold. I could be wrong about that. Yeah, 419 gold in one fight. Everybody else is fine for now. Magic key. Stamina seed. So that's that's hilarious, because frankly, I remember this being an extremely difficult dungeon back in the, in the NES days, but maybe just because I was younger when I played it. I wonder. Anyway, let's head upstairs and check and see what's inside that magic key room. So Jimmy stole a Parcheesi ticket there. That means that we found the enemy that provides like an un, you know semi unlimited number of Parcheesi tickets if we if we want them, which we kind of don't. But whatever. Anyway, let's finish this dungeon up. I remember this being a lot harder the, on the NES version. So those aren't interactable. I feel like those treasure chests are a trap. Flashy suit. Okay, that's not garbage. None of us can equip it. So it goes in the bag. I lied about that being a good item. Okay, let's check these chests out. Why not? Uh-oh. Oh, some mummies. They really like hitting our rear ranks. That's not the way that this game is supposed to work. Yeah, they're just... They're just killing her. Perry. Okay, 
we don't need to hunt a ruby ring. Oh, there's actually items in these chests. But... We can come back when we're stronger. There's no reason for us to... For us to, like, struggle with these enemies that much. Especially since we're starting to get low on MP. We got what we came here for. We don't need to grave rob anymore yet. The time for grave robbing is later. This is way easier than it's supposed to be. Is this just a maze? It's just a little bit of a maze. That's not so bad. Especially when you can literally just go straight south and... <laughs> it's ridiculous. Give me a break, game. Come on. more treasure chest. I'm pretty sure one of these has a mimic in it. We're not gonna bother with it. Like I said, we got what we came here for. We'll come back later when we're a little stronger. I thought I fell down the freaking thing of jig. That's basically the pyramid on easy mode. And now we have the magic key and we can kind of check out all these magic key doors. That is, if I remember where they are. We'll just look around a bit. It'll be fine. Nothing there. Dang it. Wait for Sakras to move, I think. gazing at the water, but he set off east, heading towards Ashalam, and never returned. Our soldiers guard the queen's treasures. These are the queen's chambers, please stand. How did she get in here? It's a magic key door. She literally can't get in here. Okay. Tell you what, I'm gonna fight out here until uh, nightfall and then we'll go in and check Isis by night. Be right back.
So a real quick uh, thing right there, that last battle you saw that those guys cast Increase on themselves for 110 defense points per cast. You have to relate, relate to magic or run away when that happens, so watch out. So this is interesting. Jimmy just gained a level. He learned a spell called Thief Nose. Discover remaining chests of area. Which is helpful as long as none of those chests contain mimics. Anyway, it's about nighttime. Actually, is this nighttime? Technically? Yes, it is. Alright, here we are in uh, Isis at night. When I'm here, I can swear I can hear the dead. We'll all be there one day, too. It's a scary thought. I feel like there's something hidden here, but maybe not. Oh, there's a small metal. Someone left a small metal in the f in the ground in the sand at a grave. That's uh, handy. That guy's sleepy. That guy's sleeping. Uh, we can go down here. Is the queen down here? That's really all we need to know. Guess not. Okay, no queen. She says the same thing. Swing by my shop in the morning and have a look at my wares. Well, that's... I bet you're after the starry ring, am I right? I hear it's hidden somewhere inside of the castle. Well, we already found it, so we're good. Yeah, in the NES version, it's called the Meteorite Bracelet, I think? I think that's a way better name than Starry Ring. What? Oh, God. This, I think I already checked this, didn't I? Nothing interesting. I bet on Catpire. Okay, so he's out of the way here. On a Pachisi ticket. And here's... What's this guy's name? Socrus. No interesting books. Smart book. So that appears to be the Isis city at night. Nothing too amazing, nothing too crazy. So let's check out the castle. They don't say anything about about it being uh, frozen up at uh, at night, so maybe that's okay. Maybe we can look around. KKK, I'm Baramos's familiar. Stop trying to defy him and head back to Elihan before he kills you. Oh, that's interesting. If you have something to say, please wait until tomorrow. Snore, snore. I guess we can just take the treasure now? Let's wait a bit first. Help a monster cat. He's talking about that one cat that had the familiar inside. That guy's sleeping on his feet.
The two kids just <laughs> just drop on the floor. Wow. I hope this is carpet and not like stone or something. I don't know what you want, but please leave. There's no need to spread rumors. I'm happy you've met me secretly. I can't help you much, but check around my bed. Wizard ring. Ah, yes. It's time for you to go now. Oh, there's a bunch of people laying here. <laughs> and the cat is just like, <sighs> every freaking day. Anyway. So, the wizard ring is an interesting item. Here it is. It has a probability of breaking when used, but it increases MP. It's the only, I think, MP raising item in the game. And so, uh, it'll be extremely useful the l later we hold on to it, basically. Golden Tiara, Life Nut, 80 gold. I don't know why that was in there. Tiny metal. Okay, well, there's a tiny metal. We were definitely supposed to take this stuff. Obviously. 72 gold. That's so funny. There's a wisdom seed. That's nice. A ruby ring. And a silk robe. So that is Isis at night. Cat's gone now. And we'll just go through here real quick and give it a check. ghosts wandering around or anything like that. Seems normal-ish. Normal-ish. I guess that'll do it. Okay, so our next thing to do is to head... Well, what we probably ought to do is head to all the different places where we um, needed a magic key before but didn't have one. That's going to be I think just Eliahan and Romilly. But I'll double check. We'll kind of do like a little super cut of me opening up magic key doors. So, um, I will be back, uh, and we will go through and see what is behind all these magic key doors. See you in a minute. All right, we've got a magic key door right here. I owe so much to Ortega. Go ahead and take these items. I'll pretend I didn't see anything at all. We've got a rune staff. Hero ring? Okay. Some gold. Some more gold. Agility seed, nice. And a strength seed. Okay, good stuff. Put it in the bag. Was there anything else here that needed the magic key? Could be nothing there. We've already talked to this guy, I'm sure. Yeah, they're just talking about magic ball. Yeah, we knew. Wait, what? How do I? Oh, really? Okay, interesting. Is there a way in over here? No. Okay, fine. Is there anything up on the second floor? I think there's not. And those are just regular doors. Yeah, 
that's all we got. Okay, cool. Well, that is Eliahan's uh, magic key door stuff. I'm going to keep looking around, and we will cut back when I find something else. Okay, we found... We are in Romilly, and here on the north side of the castle, there's a magic key door. Inside, there's a guy that was trapped. Supposedly, they make ships in the west in the castle town of Portoga. If you have one, you could sail anywhere in the world. There's some bushes. I wonder if there's maybe like a... Like a tiny metal? Oh, there's one. Yeah. So there's that. He tells us what's in Portoga, which... Since when did you stop being the king? Well, you did fit the role. Did I? Really? I was king for like five minutes. Oh, that's just a regular door, too. We'll check the king's chambers area. Nope. That is a negative. here. Alright. So I think that's kind of it. Um, for now at least, I guess. Let's take a look at some of the some of the neat loot that we got. So Wizard Ring, we're gonna give that to Betty, because she can use it more usefully. Agility Seed we'll give to the hero. Golden smart book goes in the bag. All the books can just go in the bag. This is a... Okay, so the golden tiara is a luck-based accessory. Who can use it? Only she can use it. Ignore. A cheesy ticket. Put that in the bag. The ruby ring doesn't do anything, as far as I can tell. So it goes in the bag. The magic key goes in the bag. Let's see. None of that matters. None of that matters. Give Betty a couple of HP. Here's the hero ring. It increases... Well, so there's a rune staff. There's a silk robe. She already has a silk robe. Can someone else use the Silk Robe? No. Therefore, bag. Rune Staff. Now, the thing about the Rune Staff, of course, is that it... Oh, wow. It really increases attack power significantly. We can give it to Sean, and he'll actually do damage with it. Alright, we'll do that. We'll equip it. And that saves us from having to buy him a upgraded weapon. That can go into the bag. The other thing is the hero ring. That is an accessory that increases attack. The only person without an accessory right now is hero. So hero ring to him. I don't see why not. All right. So we're gonna hit the inn real quick because we've been using up MP like crazy teleporting around. We're headed west next, to Portoga. So let's check that out. Remember this shrine? It had a magic key door in it. Yeah. Right through that door, but you can only open it with a magic key. Well, guess what? Bam. We've got the magic key. Ooh, there's... what's this? This is a final key door. We don't have that one yet. So we can go here. And go out this door. It's basically just a tunnel under the river. Which is kind of silly, because couldn't you just, like, build a rowboat? But whatever. We needed to rob the... Monster, we needed to rob the dead kings of, uh... Of Isis.
Oh, nice critical. They're really rare in this game, in general. Like, in a lot of games you get, like, you know, the kind of the 1 in 20 is, is the is the number that you kind of get in a lot of games that are based on kind of that D20 style of rule set, but in this game it's like 1% or something. HP and MP? A little strength, stamina, wisdom, and luck. Okay, sounds good. Dead stools are surprised. Here we go. Notice that our spells are missing a lot now. Alright. Portoga. This is the town of Portoga. Here's a... Just once before I die, I'd like to finally know the taste of pepper. Item shop. Random stuff here. We'll come back later. A grain of pepper is worth its weight in gold. We've nothing like it here. By the way, weapon and armor shop. Steel sword, iron axe, steel whip. The steel whip is a good buy, and we can afford it. Just barely. Nah. We'll leave that alone for the moment. This appears to be the inn. 40 gold for the night. It's not too bad. A cheesy ticket. She's, like, monopolizing the space in front of that door. There's a horse. The horse says nay. Got a tiny metal. There we go. What? You want a ship? Go ask the king. Ha. I'm Sabrina. I was just thinking about my beloved. Every night has become so frightening without him. Oh, my dear Carlos. Strength seed. The king loves pepper. It can be bought in the eastern end of the country. People are too afraid to go make the dangerous trip to go purchase it. Well, that's interesting. Many lovers sit here to talk. Two young lovers once came here. I wonder what became of them. If you had a ship, you could sail the world. country is small, the king is rich and powerful. Don't make any careless mistakes. There's a shrine in the east where you can change your class. I'd love to go there. I mean, you know, it injures us. But I don't think it'll kill us. We can just throw some heal spells around. And take the crown jewels, I guess. In the original Dragon Quest, the first one, I mean, not Dragon Quest 3 on NES, but Dragon Quest, I believe barriers took 15 hit points per step. So a pretty sizable amount. The swamps took one per step. There's the angry tattoo. There's a door with a magic key thing. Everyone talks of going east, but not me. It's a scary place filled with monsters. Okay, interesting. I have a hunch about a possible tiny metal over here. Really? Nothing? All the way up. Nope. Okay, fine.
I know the truth. Would you like to hear it? Tell me the truth. Hey, Space Waste, that's the truth. Maybe you've gone east and never returned. Please be careful. Our king is busy at the moment, but I will help you instead. Here's our save point, dude. We're kind of all in the 1 to 2,000 range. Let's chat with the king. Supposedly in a country far to the east, black pepper is plentiful. Please go east and bring pepper back for me. When you should return with the pepper, I will acknowledge you as true heroes and grant you a ship. Take this letter, show it to Noru. You'll find him in a cave to the east. He'll lead the way. King's letter. Alright, cool. Now be off. Get out of here! Get out of here! This is a strange looking mask. So that's Portoga by day. Let's check out Portoga at night, and then we'll call it an episode. I'll grind a little bit, and we'll be right back. So a little throwback from that fight. A lot of healers. In the original NES version of Dragon Quest III, there were no whips and there were no boomerangs. And so every attack was just hits one guy. And as you saw, they were those healers were semi-immune to magic. Healing enemies were much more difficult uh, in the NES version just because of the lack of those sweeping weapons. Because as you can see, they didn't have that many hit points, but they did have the ability to heal. And so being able to hit all of them at once when you can't target individual enemies is what you really need. Alright, Portoga at night. If only I could see my dear Sabrina's face and speak with her again. I miss her so much. Have you seen her? Yes. Please tell her that even after all this time, Carlos still loves her. She's over here. No, that's not her. That's not her! She's in here. Meow. That's strange. She's not... Is she the ghost? Is that the joke? King is asleep. You may not enter. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Which one of them is the ghost? sure what to say about that. But where does she go? Does she become the cat? I can't say anything to her. Wait. Oh! Wait, he's the horse, and she's the cat. Oh, that's freaking weird. Okay. I totally didn't catch that for a second. Alright. 
We're gonna call this an episode here, but we're gonna do one thing before we do that. And that is to drop off our tiny metals, because I think we might have enough for a reward. He peered down. He climbed a rope down. I like how there's an entire house down here. Just trying to get rid of, uh, get, get away from uh, Eliahan taxes. I found more medals. This brings my medals to 14. Garter belt. 20 medals is a blade of rain. Garter belt increases defense. Only women can wear it. It's not as good as the silver rosary. It goes in the bag. All right. So that will do it. We will call it an episode here. I will head to the Eliahan castle and save real quick. And uh, we'll start this up again next week. Um, I'll probably do a little bit of um, weapon purchasing. I'll probably pick up that, that uh, what was it, a steel whip or whatever. And uh, actually, that's most of our cash, but I'll sell off all of our extra stuff and see how much cash we have after that. After that. Maybe I'll show that next time, maybe not. I'm not sure. I hate, I hate just showing you guys shopping, you know? Okay, game is saved, and we are out. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, Dragon Quest III. Thursdays on YouTube. I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Later.